everyone. I hope you have an amazing day so far. I was asked on Instagram to make this video about about pros and cons about having dreadlocks um, and I thought that was a very good idea. A lot of people are a bit nervous about what could be the consequences about getting dreadlocks and yeah if there's anything you should be considering before getting dreadlocks. So I hope this video is going to help some of you that are considering getting dreadlocks. One of the very positive things is that you have a great hair day like every day because of course dreads are amazing so <laughs> um, well you can have bad hair days. I don't think this is my best hair day but it's never really terrible and you don't have to worry about how you should do your hair when you go somewhere because it's it's just there. <laughs> um, and another thing is that you can decorate dreadlocks in so many different ways. It's so fun to decorate. Uh, you can put in pearls and and that's just amazing and you can make wraps in your hair like I have also done and as an example I'm wearing this feather today. It's from a shop called Anana. I'll put in a link below. They're actually on sale right now. And that's just absolutely beautiful that you can decorate your hair and uh, decorate your dreadlocks in so many different ways. It's really fun. Um, yeah, so that's also one of the very positive things about having dreadlocks. Another thing is that I have experienced people being very open and like they're always very curious and have all these different questions for me uh, and I really like that. It is, um, it's like after I got dreadlocks people are very open-minded and very positive when they meet me. It's like dreads, I don't know, make me more open and Apparently people seem to think that I'm more positive and open and yeah I've just I've experienced so many people coming up to me with questions and or compliments or and stuff like that so I think that's very nice plus you always have a subject like people always have some question to ask you something they have been wondering about so yeah, you always have like a subject to to begin a conversation with, for example. Um, so that's very nice. I don't know if this is only um, in Denmark or if it's something in general. But at least that's what I have experienced. So I think that's one of the very great things that people are so curious and they ask and well, I don't mind questions at all. Uh, I think questions are very positive. I think I hate when people are not asking, but just uh, just talking about me behind my back. Because if people have some sort of questions, and that could be if I can wash them, then please ask instead of just um, concluding that I'm probably not washing my hair. So I think questions are wonderful, and it's it's really a nice way to get a conversation started. So that's a plus, that's for sure. Um, well, I've also been saving uh, money, I think, after I got my dreadlocks. Uh, I don't have to go to the hairdresser. Um, I know that some dreadheads use a lot of money on soap, um, like special dread soap, but I don't. So for me, this has been a very cheap hairstyle. Um, yeah, I bought a little gel in the beginning and then have bought some uh, beads and some wraps but if I compare it with my earlier uh, hairstyles then I, I think this is very cheap so that's also very positive. So that was the pros I was going to focus on in this video. I think there are so many positive things about having dreadlocks, so many positive aspects I, th I think, um, yeah, I think dreads are lovely, so now you're going to hear the cons there, there could be uh, when you have dreadlocks. One of the cons could be the prejudice, um, like 
One of the prejudices that I'm really tired of is, as an example, that people expect you to love reggae. And they expect you to be smoking weed. Um, some also really expect you to be lazy. And I'm just... Um, really, I'm, I'm, I'm really tired of labels and I'm really tired of the fact that you have to fit in to like certain rules and apparently apparently there's also rules about dreadlocks some dreadheads has like rules about what you can do and what you can't do and how you should be and how you shouldn't be and sometimes I think that's really annoying and also that the rest of the society has these prejudices well I think that's really annoying because I'm not smoking weed and I'm not lazy and I listen to so much music besides from Ricky. Also, one of the things that I really miss about having normal hair is the feeling of a brush growing through your, your hair. I think that's what I miss the most about having normal hair. Um, it feels so good to feel like a brush on your scalp. I think that's what I miss the most. And then there's also the fact that it takes a really long time to dry dreadlocks. Some also feels like it takes a really long time to wash dreadlocks. I don't know if I am... Um, I don't know if I really can agree with that because I don't think it takes such a long time to wash my hair. I just think it takes a really 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 long time to dry my hair. And um, yeah, if I have to like give you a reason for not having dreadlocks anymore then it would be because my scalp can't take it anymore. I have problems with my scalps once in a while where it gets really itchy and I know that it's because my scalp has some problems with ha getting wet and being wet for a very long time. Um, so I'm pretty sure that when I'm finished having dreadlocks then it will be because my scalp can't take it anymore or because I'm really getting tired of always having like an ishy scalp but that is very different from person to person maybe you won't have any problems with having your scalp wet for a very long time I think that's very different from person to person um, also I think it also depends on how thick your hair is like I've always had problems with my hair uh, for the for the time for my hair to dry because I've always had like really I always I've always had a lot of hair and very thick hair so it has always taken a really long time for it to dry and that has always been a problem for me but maybe it wouldn't be for you so I think that's also very different from person to person but yeah well I blow dry my blow dry my hair to make this process of drying getting faster but it does take a long time and you have to get used to that and that is especially annoying in the winter period because you can't just walk out there with your dress all wet because then um, you will get ice in your dreadlocks and that's not healthy at all. So um, yeah that was also one of the cons. Yes and the last thing that I've been writing down in my beautiful book um, is that some places I don't think it is such a big problem in Denmark as an example but some places it can be hard to get a job and I guess you have to consider that as well maybe if you have a job already you could ask your boss what if they have some rules about hairstyles and dreadlocks and so because you shouldn't get dreadlocks it's going to ruin your career and your options I think that would be a bad idea um, I haven't had a job while I've had dreadlocks but I'm going to apply for jobs very soon and I am very scared about how people will, will react to my hair and if it's going to be a problem that I have dreadlocks. Um, but I guess I'll find out later on and yeah it's going to be very interesting to see if I can get a good job with my hair. Um, yeah. But this was my pros and cons video about getting dreadlocks and having dreadlocks and I hope you liked 
liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would be very nice. You can always leave comments if you have questions or if you have ideas for the next video. And yeah, you're also very welcome to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope this was helpful for those of you who might consider getting dreadlocks. Otherwise, I'm sorry for wasting your time. See you guys.